Uh, this is Jason Steinberg speaking. Um, thank you all for joining us today. Um, I'm with Scanafly. Uh, we are excited to share with you about how uh, you can fly drones for solar site surveying and 3D mapping purposes, specifically around trees and other forms of vegetation. Uh, we wanted to first thank our partners on this webinar, um, Brian Hating at HeatSpring, our curriculum partner, and who's hosting our webinar today, uh, Keith Perry of Hudson Valley Drones, who is Scanafly's hardware partner and a DJI dealer, and David Williams of Northwest Drone Pros, who we work with on behalf of customers in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, this webinar is being recorded and will be posted on HeatSpring's uh, awesome curriculum site as a free webinar, as well as on Scanify's YouTube channel. So let's jump in. Uh, we've got a fulsome agenda for the next 60 minutes or so. Um, first, I'm gonna provide a brief overview of Scanify and how our platform works. Uh, then I'll turn it over to David, who will walk you through uh, the best practices for flying drones around trees. Um, he has unparalleled experience in this area uh, because every day he is flying around well over 100 foot tall trees across Washington State. Uh, and we've worked with David on numerous sites. So I think it's going to be a really interesting case study for you to, to listen to. Um, after that, Keith will walk us through various insights on what hardware you'll need, including discussing obstacle avoidance, what happens when your drone gets stuck in a tree, which we don't like to talk about, but unfortunately does happen, uh, and how to assess the damage. Um, then my colleague, John Novak, who's, who's the, really the visionary of Scanafly's platform, will walk through three example sites with varying tree coverage. Um, these are real examples permissioned by Scanafly customers. He will discuss photogrammetry, uh, flight paths for each site, and helpful methodologies for 3D mapping. It's going to be a really great case-by-case uh, -case example that you'll get to walk through with him. Um, we'll also sprinkle in a couple of poll questions during the webinar so we can all learn from each other. Uh, and then lastly, we're going to conclude with a Q&A session. Um, if you have any questions throughout the webinar, please post them in the chat box. Um, our team is already starting to organize some questions, so feel free to include them. And then we're going to open it up to all the presenters for Q&A at the end. Uh, we're going to try to achieve these minute parameters. Um, if we need to go over by a couple minutes, we will. Uh, you know, and again, all this will be recorded if you do have to run. Okay, so Scanapply started uh, Scanify was started to remove the inefficiency and human dependence in the solar workflow. Um, our team consists of nearly all solar professionals, so uh, we've experienced a lot of these problems firsthand. Uh, these are things like climbing on roofs and walking fields or using tape measures, which lead to a lot of on-site challenges. Uh, satellite imagery and poor data create inaccuracies and change orders, and archaic shading tools uh, are tough to use sometimes. Um, Scanify's vision is to streamline and automate as much of your solar workflow as possible to make it faster, safer, cheaper, and more accurate for your everyday project. Uh, we do this and we improve the workflow at Scanify by leveraging our proprietary drone-based 3D modeling software. Um, it helps solar companies survey and design projects more effectively. Um, Scanify software is used by solar companies all over the world, uh, whether it's to, be, to create perfect uh, arrays, shading analysis, sharing beautiful imagery, or exporting AutoCAD or SketchUp files, uh, Scanify customers are enhancing their workflows. We know many on the webinar, uh, many of our customers are on the webinar today, and we just want to acknowledge them and thank them for their time and for helping us build the future of the industry. Just a bit about how Scanify software works so we all have some context here. Um, first, uh, you're going to fly a drone and take pictures of the site's features. Then you'll upload those drone pictures to Scanify software, which automatically stitches them together to make a two-scale virtual replica 3D model of the property. It's, it's the photogrammetry process, which John is gonna dig into later on in the presentation. And after that, you'll design and analyze your solar project. And from there, uh, you'll be able to export a variety of files, including CAD files, shade reports that are bankable, uh, sales imagery, and other things. Uh, we try to keep our software's outputs as portable as possible, which is the nature for these exports. Some basics on flying drones, just to set the table before David presents. Um, we advocate flying in a point of interest or POI formation. Uh, it's the best way to capture uh, obstructions and rooftops and, and other things where getting that correct angle will allow you to capture the vertical features of a site. It's how you make a really good 3D model with all of the height included, that Z axis. Uh, you can see the facades of the houses and you can see those sides of obstructions. Uh, and again, that's how you really create good 3D models. Um, having good overlap is also key. We recommend roughly 80 to 90%. We have a ton of resources on our website. If you go to the homepage, there's a resources tab. I just want to call out two in particular. 
Um, if you scroll down to the middle of the page, we've got an extensive guidebook on flying drones for solar. Uh, there's also a link to our YouTube page, which is where we have a lot of tutorials. So that's some really good reference points for anywhere that you're getting started on your journey with integrating drones into your solar workflow. Um, Scanify is also the continuing education provider for NAPSEP. We do a monthly webinar on drones, 3D mapping, and LIDAR. Um, our next session is on August 19th. Again, these are offered monthly. Um, and the course is also available in recorded fashion on Heat Springs website uh, for free. All right, that's enough on, on Scanify. It's most important to get to the content here. Um, I just want to first uh, again and thank HeatSpring. Um, HeatSpring offers more than 160 courses, including NAPSIP training and a 12 week drone pilot boot camp uh, that takes you through the Part 107 license and on to flight skills, data gathering, data prep, and report production. Um, they have a phenomenal library of curriculum covering a massive diversity of topics. So I definitely recommend going to HeatSpring and checking it out after the webinar. Um, Brian, who leads the HeatSpring group, and, and their whole team have amassed an amazing library of knowledge there. So again, a huge thanks to the HeatSpring team for uh, helping us put this together and managing the technological side of everything we're doing today. Uh, and so just want to really give them a strong plug. All right, now to the good stuff. So first we have our first, uh, our first poll for the webinar. Uh, so to kick off, I'd like to find out from the group, what type of drone are you flying? Uh, so if the group can all answer, we're looking at, you know, a Phantom Series, different types of Mavic drones, whether it's the Pro or the 2, the Mavic Air, the Mavic Mini. And then recently there's been a uh, promotion by Skydio. Unique was a drone that was popular. Some people have other preferences. And then lastly, if you don't have a drone, that's great to find out. Uh, so if you can fill out these questions, put this in frame. All right, so looks like we've got a decent diversity, but at least uh, about half between the Phantom Series and the Mavic Pro or the Mavic 2. That's pretty consistent with what, uh, with what we're seeing from our customer base and what people are using reliably for site surveying and 3D mapping. Uh, interesting about the Air, we know the Air 2 has been popular. Um, you know, different books have referenced uh, for the other department, the Autel drone, um, which is uh, increasingly interesting. It's, also notable that Skydio only has one, but they have had a lot of promotion recently. Um, this is a very helpful results, and hopefully this is informative for those who don't have a drone with what options to choose. Um, Keith will be walking through information after David, but he is Scanify's DJI dealer, and we can uh, hook Keith up with you if you want to ask specific questions 